Welcome to the Visual Pro of our planner course. Today we are going to discuss about the fundamental function of any 3D program selecting object. We will also be diving into the concept of adding objects in planner, which also play a crucial role in modifying and editing objects in planner. Let's start with the basic. When you left click on the object, as you can see, it began highlighted. It also highlighted in the outline view. You can also select object from the outline view. As you can see, when you select a sphere, the sphere began highlighted also in the 3D box. And let us provide the selection tool. That's why when it tweak, you can just press on the object to select. And the next one is bow select. You can draw a bow on the object you want to select. And the next one is sake. You can paint over the object to select that. And the next one is lasso selection. And you can draw a shape on the object you want to select. You can choose these two by pressing now on the icon and then choosing the two you want. To select multiple object, you can press shift and click. In the outline view, by pressing shift and clicking, you can select a range of object. Also, you can select individually by pressing Ctrl. Now, let's explore some important shortcut for selecting. First one is A for selecting all of the object. And the next one is by Ctrl and I for empathy selection. A for everything. And then Control I for Nepal selection. You can also find the selection tools and shortcut in the selector. As you can see, and you can find the functions and shortcut also in the select tab. Now, let's type into the concept of the objects in Blender. When you select multiple objects, the active object will appear brighter than other object. In this case, the sphere is appearing brighter than other. You can also see in the outline view, a highlight for sphere is more brighter than other. You can change the active object by pressing shift and clicking on the other object. As you change the active object, you can see the property and the property there also change. And when you change the property here, it will affect the active object. Right now, the active object is the sphere. So when I change the location, location of the sphere will change. And I select the two to change the active object. When I change the location right now, location of two will change. The concept of adding objects in Blender where we can crucial and modifying and editing objects in Blender. Now let's explore when you say we can use the adding object. So I will select multiple object. Right now the adding object is the sphere. So when I press Ctrl and C, it will pop up a window for copy a 3D menu where the add-on we installed in the first episode. So when I press copy location, all the other objects will copy the location of the sphere so that go to the sphere. Okay, I will show you again. Right now, go at the active object. So when I press Ctrl C and copy the location, all the other objects will go to the active object, which is the go in the case. 
implant memorizing shortcut is the key to work efficiently. Why there are so many shortcuts to remember when you get the hand of it, your workflow will become similar. The good news is that blender shortcut remains consistent across workspace, which you will see in the upcoming episode. Before we move on to the Nala episode, I strongly recommend getting familiar with selecting objects and the concept of the object. So, I will see you in the next episode.